What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Commander, Cerberus forces are scrambling. Looks like an attack on the Talons. Judging from comm chatter, the priority target is in the area. Could be the Talon leader. Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Commander, confirming Cerberus activity in your area. Let's see if I can hack their comm system. One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. The terminal is active. Thank you, Commander. I suppose. Offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. to observe the detainment centers. That tower is the Talon outpost we're heading for. Talents are given as good as they get. Commander, Cerberus communications indicate that the high priority target. 
target is nearby. Their forces will be directly on your path to the Talon outpost. Understood.
Thanks. Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya. The deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... New Direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Arya, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer is no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. That's a generous offer. Arya, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right then. Come with me. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Rampart mechs incoming!
This way. I hope you're not afraid of heights.
Lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. Nirene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk's entrance. Door's jammed again. This may take a moment. Okay. You're not just using the catwalk. Passage to the base are the long drop is the best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. Let's go. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. Boss, it's good to see you, boss. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. more medical supplies. All yours. I... thank you. I'll make sure they're distributed properly. Do you think we'll make it out of here? Absolutely. Boss is here now. We'll wipe the floor with Cerberus in no time. Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you.
We're online. Just reported into the boss. Still no adjutants. Thank the spirits for that. Do we even be bothering with this? There hasn't been any other since that dog work returned, right? Look, I know you're new to this outfit, but get used to the adjutant watch. It was only one of those things last time, and Cerberus still had to seal shut an entire ward to deal with it. They didn't even try to help the people trapped inside. I... I can't imagine what their last moments must have been like. Trust me, you hear any weird, creepy whispering, you grab your friends, and you run. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no? You'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Open your eyes. This is a war of attrition and you're on the wrong side. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? I mean, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. Alright, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it.
We're on our way. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention. If you please. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in fast. Rock, Rock can you hear me? 
Damn it, Ruck! Don't do that again. I thought I lost your signal. Yeah, well, don't do that again. How are you holding up? Relax. I got this. Urgently. Your attention, if you please. This door's on lockdown. Tentative excitement. Welcome to Herop's Emporium, human. Relieved? I am grateful for Aria's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious? You seem familiar. I had a discount at your store the last time I was here. Enlightened? I see. Cunningly? I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the General threw out Arya's couch from afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Controlled area. Rock, answer me, please. Come on. Rock. Love. Please answer me. Rock. Scouts are ready to go. I've blocked enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. They think they have us trapped in here. They're in for a surprise, all right. Arya wants to talk to you first, Commander. Squad leaders are prepping their units. Ready to go in five. Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. 
So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. All medical supplies have been distributed to the ground forces. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Aria will be joining us soon. Now may be your only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military. But when my biotic ability started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people. So I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her, but I regret nothing. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... what they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me... and haunts me. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code? And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. I appreciate it, Nairing. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. More reports coming in. All forces ready. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. Approvingly, welcome back, human. Tentative anticipation, I hope you are able to locate Arya Talok's couch for me. Courteously, 
please enjoy your shopping. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. Approvingly, welcome back, human. Tentative. I can almost taste it, Shepard. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the General will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you want to talk about? What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt, chaos ensues, and we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center and afterlife. A bloodbath. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the best in me. The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. I for one can't wait to finally get my hands on him. Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened between you? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill. So long as she doesn't get in my way. I won't bother you with more questions. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. Thank <laughs> you. 